<laughs> okay, okay, jelly up. Right, hello everybody, welcome to a even TV match. Apart from he's got orcs and I've got ogres. <laughs> so, yeah. Dodge Mighty Blow is the bane of ogres' lives. Strip ball outrageous. Movement hate. Oh god. But yeah, it's the the blodge, the the dodge. I mean, obviously that Tony plays poorly. He's going to viciously target him and hopefully fucking kill him. And uh, five, three, two. So that could be a chance, I guess. Maybe potentially. You could have purple chest from fumbling one of your teams. Then jelly deals. He's an actor. I might do with some kind of theme team apart from Christmas men. <laughs> Sometimes. Everyone likes Kanor's teams with the puns, don't they, and that. I've got, to, I've got to receive and go for the early concession. Even though it's in the fucking rain. Right? And, and after, after making one out of nine pickups in the rain. <laughs> without, without chaos team. One out of nine pickups in the rain. That is insane. And he made one out of one. But then luckily rolled one with GFI. <laughs> Decent chess player. <laughs> I like that. I like that, Jelly. I'm nowhere near my level. <laughs> I mean, it's funny that, you know, you can have somebody who's good who's nowhere near your level, you know? And then obviously you're nowhere near Carlson's level. Whereas in Blood Bowl, the best, whoever the best player in Blood Bowl is, whether it's, you know, let's say it's Purple Goo for argument's sake, he's hardly better than a bunch of guys, is he? So, is it just the RNG or what? Or is it just the people just don't try? No, I know you didn't mean the Brian sense, but it's just true that he can be nowhere near your level. I, I, I understand that because it is just like, it's, it's just fact, isn't it? <laughs> oh man, fucking five ogres. What the fuck is this? Yeah, well, relatively it is. Come on, man. Relatively, it is. You said you'd you said you'd be able to win one one in a hundred times against Carlson. <laughs> That's already beyond most people's dreams, isn't it? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Do you think people give up, Mr. Yamin? 
I mean, I know I talk like I'm, I've given up a lot of the time, but I never really do give up apart from when I conceded the game. And I could have still, I know I could have won that game. I really, I really regretted giving up. I really regretted conceding against him because I knew I could have beaten him. Boys, lads. Can't, can't go all the way around, can he? Can he come back this way? Yeah. I thought, so the reason behind that rather bizarre blitz was it was to keep it three dice um, if it was a push whereas if I'd blocked with this guy I couldn't I would have had to bring in a snotling to make it three dice and then he would have been exposed and so I just thought it was better to just do the blitz with him and then I mean I could not even activate this guy I guess but might as well try Cheeky GFI. Oops, to the right square, please. Oh, on the fucking sideline, it would be, wouldn't it? Oh! Yeah, it was a hell of a turn, wasn't it? I mean, it's a shame they were just linemen, but still, very good to get rid of them. Ball go near the crowd sucks. They really don't have to spend a team reroll to pick up the fucking ball. I don't have the extra guy to foul him. Maybe I could with a GFI. Puts into there and then foul. Yeah, he just didn't want to get blitzed by an ogre, I think. I think that was his idea, Sergeant Abbey. Eight movement, yeah. <laughs> and the dud the blodge the blodge blitz is annoying as well, isn't he? Because he's hard it's just hard to knock down a blodger. He can go wherever he wants, and punish snotlings. It's 
he doing? Three dice in. Might as well. Two dice here though. So now I can, now I can uh, foul him with a GFI at the end of the turn. With seventy-two percent, pretty good. Might even do it before the pickup. Three dice here. Got the pal. Outrageous. Oh man, KO. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking glorious. Right, I'm going to go for the foul before the pickup. Because if I fail the pickup and it goes in the middle, it can just be a nightmare, can't it? Right, so I can go for the foul first. Jim foul. Double one. <laughs> Why is that level up before Brand Hill? I don't know. Lemon is good, Augustus, and Scrub Castle on the bench. Double one. Fucking hell. <laughs> <laughs> I should have a snakes in as well, shouldn't I? <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> At least the ball isn't out of bounds exactly, yeah. Uh... Oh wow, he, he, he just did that. Right. Is there a guy here? <laughs> I literally can't see. There is. <laughs> Two D with blocks, all right, isn't it? Make a blocks there. Actually, I'd rather keep Tony free, wouldn't I, to blitz. So maybe, mm, but then he's got guard. I've got, I've got what the, what's happened with the camera here? Oh, hey, what, what's up? Okay. 
Right. Um. I guess I've got a real old pickup now because I'm running out of time to just physically get there and score on. Oh, picked it up. Right, turn five, one, two, three, four, five. Turn six, one, two, three, four, five, and then we're in range. So, another foul. Don't know what the percent is. Just gonna do it. Yes! Got him. Ooh, got him. Alright. Didn't didn't actually get it. Wow, that was a great, great muting there. Muted before I blew my brains out with a with a uh, sneeze. Oh, holy shit! Guy Lazau. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Senai's a Senai's a big fan of Cyrus. I'd like to have got the guard in there as well, would have saved him. Bastard. I've just been scared to activate him. Up to now. I think I just go there first. Hmm. Nine eight doesn't have guard, isn't it actually? Two dice him though, and then he could blitz him, last action, and then get into a cage. So, Now the uh, the bonehead from Tony is absolutely devastating. That one's a pretty bad one. Mm. 
Now I can activate him and it's not as bad if it fails. And stay where he is, so he's screening. He's got guard. Probably best not to activate him. Better sound like <laughs> Fots Cop. <laughs> Your Goliath is uh, one thirteen lost seven. So, um, what's that? Five sixty five percent. Brand Hill just getting banged on all the time. Never getting, never getting star player points. And like every game, somebody blocks a snotling, they die. where the blitz comes. Right, he could blitz. One, two, three, four, five. Because he can't walk anywhere, can he? And he's better, so he's better doing that. So he should have, he should have already tried to get up. Obviously. Mm. Mm. Have to re-roll this one. Mm. Wow, that's some bullshit. I didn't even have to re-roll it, did I? Just real, I didn't even have to re-roll it. He's movement fucking eight. What the fuck is this? Monster. <sighs> what a fucking horrible... What an unfair turn. Three ones in a row with fucking ogres. On... Yeah, the trickiest turn. And that's stun. Holy shit. He fucking gets a red dice pow and arrow three ones in a row. One dice pow. <laughs> fucking ogres, there's no need. There's no need for ogres, is there? There's no need for ogres to be this bad. It might have been four ones in a row, yeah? After he fucking puts us in trouble by getting a red dice, pal. Ugh. 
There's not, you can't do any more than make somebody make a red dice pal, can you, unfortunately? This is three dice? No, it isn't. This would make it three dice. No, oh, no, he's not. Oh, no, no, fuck it, just two dice. Then. <laughs> need a need a canoring threat, don't I? Screen for him. I roll a bunch of two pluses and a five plus. That's a shame. Noga Warriors can roll five pluses against me. I couldn't even pronounce any of those words. TBA cheery style, but I will. You can still score this fucking movement eight fucker. No need, is there? No need for a movement eight orc. A movement eight orc. What the fuck is that? I shouldn't have tried for the score then, eh? Maybe, maybe I should have just swamped the movement eight. Half a chance, block him, blitz him off, and then one, two, three, four, five, hand off, score. Or is there a way to throw one? Don't know, this, this has to start. So now it's a two plus dodge. Did I? I had two re-rolls. I don't think I wasted it. I think it was pretty crucial to get that across. To be honest. I mean, he ended up getting three dice on the ball because I'd failed it. So, I don't think I wasted the re-roll, to be honest, Carlo Ancelotti. Wasted it in that I rolled three ones in a row. But, um, yeah, I don't know what they say. Same German things. If 
but I'll know one day soon. My plan, I think, is to like you know learn how to kind of speak in German and stuff quickly, like intensively, go and in intensively learn how to just kind of like speak and understand German. And then I can take a while to like understand all the grammar and everything, can't I? Get the grammar right. I don't think that's that important, really. But as long as I can kind of understand what people are saying, and people can understand what I'm saying, I think that's important. Hello, Zunk. Great defensive formation, not as great. And one's a fucking snot ring. Movement eight guy can still get us. Fuck's sake. Probably gonna be a loss here, isn't it? Unless I get really fucking lucky somehow. Will it matter? Will it matter though? Targaryen tantrum. That's the thing. Will it matter if I'm like a bit back to front with things? I don't think it'll matter in terms of just speaking to people and understanding what they're saying, you know? Because like Senai can say things to me like, uh, I don't know. Do you know what I mean? Everything's back to front, isn't it, in German and that? So while she's 99% perfect. <laughs> yeah, except one, one was one in one was fifty percent to get hundred percent chaos, and the other was twelve and a half percent to get all all chaos. Though I guess it only needed to get two back, but still. <laughs> yes, please. Is I think Zunk's missed next game, isn't he? He's watching from the sidelines. Giving advice on how to beat goblins. <laughs> I don't think I can do it. I think I needed a touchdown on my drive. I think I needed two of his KOs to not come back. Japanese is supposedly really hard, isn't it? I've heard. I've heard that's one of the words. A blot! Alright, there you go. A, bl a blot helps. I don't even want to fuck with these guys. I just fouled it. Or oh, I swam the ball. Oh god. I oh, swam the ball is the play, isn't it? Actually. You can only kill one snotling a turn. <laughs>
you could GFI. Let's go there. Don't lose the leader, do I? Go for the GFI. <laughs> Roll the one and die. <sighs> no, no, it's done, apparently. Good. Good. Stunned. Or oh, is it Chinese then, is it? Alright, oh, Chinese as well as that. Alright. But he hung up the ball. So there's a chance. You're telling me there's a chance. <laughs> Couldn't rake the six plus pick up and then get lobbed to victory. Yeah, lost in heartbreaking fashion and knees, yeah. It was ridiculous. It was absolutely ridiculous, right? He uphill blocked the ogre who had the ball, double powered him. The skink caught it on a six in four tackle zones. And then I hit him with two dice, pushed him. Hit him with three dice, pushed him. Rerolled it, pushed him. Hit him with three dice the next turn. And triple scored. So, yeah, I wasn't happy. He survived 11 dice on the ball after he had uphill my ball carrier. Fucking unstoppable. Didn't die though, which is pretty unstoppable for a snotling. Hey. Oh. Got him. <laughs> Fuck Ed. <laughs> Having block ogres, pretty good, just quietly. Mm. I'd need to power him. And then, he's still in the fucking way, isn't he? Block these two down, no. Break tackle. He could block him. He could block him, then he could break tackle around. Doesn't seem good. I don't want to go for the six plus pickup, but then it might be the only way. Oh, maybe snotling. Maybe snotling. Fucking bang bangins on here. He could go there, base him. And then he could blitz him. And then... That would be alright, wouldn't it? No, oh, I fucked up. I should move the other guy first.
Got <sighs> two plus on the ball. Oh wait, that wasn't a blitz. Are you shitting me? Did I not do a blitz? Oh fuck, I didn't do a blitz. What a dickhead. Meant a blitz then. Either one dies him, but it doesn't really achieve anything. Two snotlings are going to die this turn. Fuck's sake, that was a nine not making that blitz. Ah. Mm. Yeah, yeah, the diamond tackle was, was definite misplay, but you're all the five anyway. Um. Oh. Hello, freak. Joker's roll one. Oh, that was so bad not making the blitz. I mean, that was a definite misplay. If I'd got this guard in there, I could have two diced him. And it would have been one less snotling dead this turn, at least. That was cool, though, that he scored with that guy. Troll can't do much, can he? I don't think. Just recover him. <laughs> that was really bad not, not getting rid of the blitz. We need more salt in the cup, Kappa. <laughs> Thanks, Star. <laughs> yeah, there's plenty of salt. Do I want to scatter? I guess not, because he might catch it. But then I might catch it, but then I might catch it. I didn't even die. <laughs> Man, every block where a snotling doesn't die is like the greatest block in the world. Next turn could see a, a Tony break tackle, throw a snot, hand off, pick it up, hand off and score. That would be pretty good, wouldn't it? I'm not sure this high octane defense is the best, <laughs> best idea in the rain when, you know, I'd rather be getting... If I, they just, the snots only need to be there for a turn so I can get the overs in, don't they? But then the ogres forgot to blitz because I'm fucking shit. Tackle and diamond tackle. Tackle is um, always active and lets you, well, negates, negates the dodge skill. So yeah. So tackle 
always lets you knock lets you knock uh, knock over blodgers on a well dodgers on a defender stumbles and they don't get a reroll the, they don't get to use the dodge reroll when they dodge away and then dive and tackle is only against dodgers and you put yourself prone for minus two after they've rolled so you can you know obviously you're only going to use it if it affects the outcome this is only a two dice on the on the snot here so it's not so bad still gets the power I really did want to make the GFR, I probably shouldn't have left him there. That's probably a bad spot. But he, he can't afford to let, or he can't afford to get, that's the last frogman go from the console. Yeah. yeah. Run out of, run out of fucking guys now, isn't it? So ta tackle's really much better, but then diamond tackle, and also diamond tackle's agility. So okay, so could I could actually break tackle and blitz this guy, couldn't he? Um, he could block him. He could block him, then he could block him, then that would free him up. That would be good. Except it starts with a two dice without block. Then this starts with a two plus. Oh god. And then another one. But it would hit his best guy. Scatter the ball. See what happens. What's this two die here, two die here, and it doesn't really do anything. So right, I'll have to I'll have to, I'll have to activate him fucking. I've got to get an ogre in, haven't I? I've just got to. Now with a stand up, this is uh, three dice, isn't it? Three dice for Tony. If you can roll three two pluses to even get them. I don't like the failure state here of this six plus pickup. Maybe I don't go for it. Pawn's disconnected. Oh man, maybe he's conceding. Could be a win for the Brogers. Potentially. <laughs> yeah, take down tackle. Yeah, that, that's the key difference is diamond tackle is agility. So, also, in this case, in this particular case, diamond tackle is better. Because, um... Snotlings don't give you a minus one at your tackle zones. 
to their tackle zones when you dodge into their tackle zones. So with diving tackle, they give you the minus two when you dodge away. So, you know, they, they kind of... Tackle's only good if they've got dodge, whereas diving tackle's good if they don't have dodge. So, you know, in a, in a way, diving tackle's better, but in a way, tackle's better. You'll probably be back, huh? Hopefully not. <laughs> Hopefully not. Maybe this snot Jilly Deals could go here and then he could 2D him, power him and then he can't 2 dice this ogre and he can't do anything with a troll yeah he's back shit Maybe I could have gone one, two, three, four, five, GFI, no, oh no, one, two, three, four, five, GFI, GFI, pick it up, hand it off to him. That would have been pretty good. Oh, we're all the way back around here, homie. A bit risky to fucking let his movement eight off the hook, but the power's really good, isn't it? Now that, that stops his one dice, limits the uh, limits the troll. Not bad. Could still be in this. Where are the players? Oh, so there's actually five ogres. And there's still four snots on the pitch. No, five snots, five snotlings on the pitch. So, he's probably men down, isn't he? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, he's got nine. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, he's got nine. He's got 10. So still, Despite this Inarian-like strategy of basing everybody, but he does have a turn to kill a snot here. He's going to kill a leader snot, isn't he? Unfortunately, basing the ball with him <laughs> did make him a bit of a target. But the leader's gone anyway, so... Not such a great loss. Maybe I should have just got him in scoring range. God, he didn't even die. Well done, BZL. Fourth, there's Jelly O. Jam Toast. BZL. Lemon is good. And Psych. It's not easy to just physically see everybody on this pitch. <laughs> Snot, the thrower, failing to get knockdowns. Good old thrower. The rain's pretty annoying now because I could be getting, you know, five plus pickups that would have a chance of working, but six pluses ain't gonna work, are they? Good find scrub fold. Oh 
Shawnee. You can't go for that. God, this fucking lag. Casting his bludger would have been good, wouldn't it? Captain Obvious moment. Could finally be able to get an over next turn. In and around the ball. Yeah, the, the blutz was very handy, wasn't it? It was a very good blutz. It's only been three turns, though. God, this fucking thing is annoying. Right, got to block him, right? Because I've got tackle. Uh -huh. for a ball back, ball scatter. Okay. A five plus is doable. Him, I guess. No, I can't. Fuck I was thinking about break tackling through here. Now that's not going to happen. Blitzen. No. Oh, Christ. <laughs> You're telling me there's a chance. This movement ain't fucker. And get there with block. Could try to two dice him. Six. Maybe I do the GFIs now. Don't know. I don't like having no re rolls for the second half. Fuck it. For the second half. I mean, uh, for defence. Oh, you bastard. Oh, I should have done one at a time. Woo! Right, so now it's harder for that guy to get through to hit. It's hard for him to get to hit. And I've got to try for this block. Good. <sighs> oh, I could have thrown somebody, yeah, yeah. Well, not with, not with the three boneheads, but yeah, I could have thought about trying to get a throw something. Mm -hmm. oh. Good news, you're on the beer. Oh, that's good. Yeah, Pete Pedro. That was funny, because that was really good, despite three fucking boneheads, which made it really fucking hard. Using the last reroll sucked. Well, that was it. Finally got the five plus pickup chance, whereas the fucking rain made it. Made it impossible a few turns to even try, try for bullshit, didn't it? Mm. 
If you score, you can get a try, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think a win's probably out of the question still, but you never know. I think it was worth making those GFIs. I think it was because I I want him to roll more dice before he gets the hit, so that he can't re-roll. And that's the thing. He's got three dice with a re-roll on going down. Whereas if he can use his re-roll in a dodge or a GFI. Always got to make a dodge because he's a shithead moving fire. I really wanted to make another GFI to make him make another dodge. Hey. He's kind of got to re roll it, hasn't he? Yeah, he does. Come on, fill the GFI. Moving five shitter. Oh no! He failed in the best possible way for him. Fuck. He should have done some safe moves first, shouldn't he? Oh, and the ball in the crowd as well. Oh no, no, why did I stand there? Oh no, I had to, I had to stand there. Right, pick it up, handoff score. Yeah. Oh my fucking god, this... So he blitzes, runs around here. Make a bar. Why, that was a bit stupid of me. Ah, but then, no, I wanted to get further away from running around this way, didn't I? One, two, no, maybe I shouldn't, maybe I should have gone there. Hmm. Yeah, it's not in screen. Yeah, the handoff the handoff score's no good, it'll have to be here. goes to like there and he goes there and then he goes one two three four five but I want to try and get a blitz to get more ogres in the vicinity don't I Could do some break tackle BS if I get the chance. Oh, I shouldn't have made that move. Maybe, eh? I'm just gonna quit. I'm just gonna lose my turn. Or what? What's happening? Okay, no, it's moved. All right, good. He goes to there. Blots from him. <laughs> he goes there. 
I guess I actually just don't want to activate the, the ogres. Mm. I would actually like to, act, I would love this block to work. So yeah, I've got to go for this. Oh baby. Tackled him and everything. So I wanted to break tackle with him at the end. Oh shit. Oh, nice scatter though. Nice scatter. Oh man, this fucking waiting for opponents are horrific. <laughs> Hack <man. laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was a rare good scatter, yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. That is a brilliant scatter, isn't it? Because even if he splats one of the snotlings, he, he still can't really get to it very well. He also can't really get anywhere anyway, because he's got to dodge away from an ogre and stuff. This is going about as well as it could go, I think. Well, he just hit the snotling with uh, this with moving eight guy. Interesting. They are iron snotlings, aren't they? They are iron snotlings. Yeah, obviously need to make a, make, make a pick up eventually. One dice blitz. Come on, fuck it up. Yes. He's not even hitting the snotling. Ha <laughs> ha glorious. Yeah, let's just go straight for the pickup next turn. Because the ogres aren't bonehead. So there's no need to risk them. Maybe Tony has to make a two dice block and try to get last frogman in. last real and the four plus can he with a three plus to follow oh wow so that makes the the three dice really rather easy doesn't it get tackled son <laughs> Oh god, the gas! <laughs> a pan! Oh my god. Fucking ogres. Ogres doing ogres things. 
Do you know what I've I've liked I've liked tackle on that ogre more than I've liked tackle on any player ever. can reach he can't 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 reach no he can base all right hook to base 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 No point in him getting three dice for no reason, is there? Might as well try to punch him with block. Oh my god, another cars! <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> This guy's like, fucking hell, ogres, ogres are overpowered. <clears throat> oh, boo. <laughs> fucking Brand Hill. <laughs> <laughs> He's the loneliest ogre, isn't he, Brand? Brand Hill is a, is a, is a terrible, is a terrible, terrible ogre. <laughs> Tony's dominating everybody with, with tackle. <laughs> Frogman's coming in, stun firming, <laughs> killing everybody, <laughs> Thor's killing people, getting level ups, <laughs> all the scrubs are doing stuff. <laughs> Meanwhile, Brandhill's sitting there on hostile player points, <laughs> getting knocked out from a double skull. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Indeed, man. That's the thing. That's the thing with playing a shit team like Ogres is that you can be the lucky one and it's pretty good, isn't it, when you're the lucky one? <laughs> I could actually make a little cage here. And then make sure of it, couldn't I? I could basically make sure of this. Wait, where's the where's the moving eight guy gone? Scoring threat! <gasps> wow, he's a greedy boy, isn't he? If I go like this. He's only moving on fire. The only way in is via diving tackle. Can't even hit him. Has to base him. He can't. He can't base the ball. He can't base the ball. I think he's actually given up. I don't think he was trying to score at all. I think he's just literally given up. Could have thrown Snotty on him first. Last frog man. 
disappointing. Defeated by an orc thrower. Let me foul. No, no! <laughs> 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 Fucking all <Hulk> throw <laughs> Too strong. <laughs> boys, lads, boys. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> he can't surf the ball carrier, he can let the ball carrier score with sidestep. So like if he was to push this to, from here, I would not use sidestep and score. But he's just blitzing with a troll, trying to splat a snotling. If he blitzed there, then I would have had to roll a 2 plus to score. But still, I thought it was worth it. Could maybe try to three dice on him as well. Oh. Running away. <laughs> Love it. Alright, so now he's, he's definitely not score, stopping the score. Because they can't base. He can't base. He can't base. Nobody can even base the ball. So, what happens? Punch the troll. Follow an ogre. Cleverly, I didn't I didn't complete the foul action. So now I can try for the foul with him. No, oh, yeah, I remember I've seen that animation before. To be honest. <laughs> oh my god. Ogre powered. <laughs> Three fucking cards though. Two black orcs. Cast. I don't know why I know. Which in theory is against the rules. Not in theory, it just is against the rules, isn't it? But. But I was just kind of exploiting a, 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 a Blood Bowl 2 bug there, yeah, in the same way as you don't have to declare the throw teammates at the start. So, big guys slightly buffed in Blood Bowl 2. Oh my god, winning with, winning with Ogres is hilarious, isn't it? Fucking hell. Like, that's why it's so much better than Chaos. Because... With the chaos, I just expect to win every game, and I'm just sad when the, when I don't win. Whereas with with an August, I just expect to get to get shot on, and then you know, not losing is pretty amazing, isn't it? Unbelievable, really. Slightly bad boneheads. Average, average dodges, horrible GFIs, typical, typically horrible GFIs, bad pickups, but then a lot, there were five pluses and six pluses there, so I'm okay with that. A whole new roster of snotlings. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, it's amazing, isn't it? Even. 
even broke is keeping like you just haven't the snotlings just haven't haven't hardly died it's been amazing wow 31 shawnee and thor both get a level i guess stand firm for thor if it's a normal but it's another double <gasps> oh my god glorious doubling ogres um And what does Shawnee get? Movement? No, I don't think so. Maybe I think Shawnee maybe gets stand firm, and then yeah, maybe dodge for blodge guard for Thor. <laughs> Yeah, Shawnee with break, tackle, dodge would have been really pretty much better. They're all a bit back to front, aren't they, in a way? Because, like, I don't know. <laughs> sure hands plus move. <laughs> Shawnee also got plus edge, didn't he? But I didn't take it. So he could have had, he could have had movement six, agility three, and he'd have been like super, super stat up ogre. Um, sure hands, yeah, block sure hands wouldn't be bad actually, would it? Wouldn't be it actually wouldn't be bad to take show hands, but I I would also then want break tackle and that. So like, yeah, one of these break tackle the break tackle first guys didn't roll dubs, and really they'd be much better with with dubs. Um, do you know? Wow, controversial. I mean, I guess they do lose value in skills after, um, you know. Guard and break tackle and stand firm. They don't really have. They don't get a lot out of the skills, do they? But um, <laughs> yeah, this team is a hundred percent better than Tails. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Stand firm. I like stand firm. Honestly, I would have taken stand firm on them both if it hadn't been a double for Thor. I, I really do like stand firm because people love to uphill block your ogres. Um, right. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.